lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. Hi, just dropping in with a really quick video today just to share an update with you. I do apologise if you can hear the rain, it's absolutely slatting it down outside and um, so you may hear the, the rain coming over on the roof. Um, but yes, I'm dropping in with a quick update just to make you aware that I'm changing my name over on my YouTube channel and all other social media. So I just wanted to let you know what the new name is and just give you a bit of background as to why I've changed it. So let me tell you the new name first of all, and I do really hope that you like it. So the new name is Linen Bloom Heirloom. And what sits beneath that name is linen, since I've started sewing, I've discovered is my absolute favourite fabric of all time. I love to sew it, I love to wear it, I love how it seems to get better with age. Every time you wash it, it gets a little bit softer, and I really love the crinkles in linen as well. Bloom is because um, bloom is oh, floral fabric is still my um, ultimate favourite or pretty much anything floral, whether it be real flowers, paper flowers, floral prints. Um, so that's where the bloom comes from. And heirloom is because I'm looking to really slow down with my sewing and I want to kind of move away from making all the things as quickly as I can and focus more on making items which have got really nice small details, using really good quality fabrics and taking my time with making them. And the idea being that they'll get passed down the generations and become family heirlooms. So that's where the name come from. So Linen Bloom Heirloom. I did share it over on Instagram last night and um, I got loads of lovely comments about the new name. So thank you to everybody who did take the time um, to let me know that, that you do like it. It really means a lot. So thank you. So I am just going to share with you why I've changed the name. Um, it isn't something that I just kind of decided to do. Something has prompted the change. If you do follow me over on Instagram, then you may already know about this. Um, but if you don't follow me over on Instagram, um, I just wanted to share it with you here on YouTube. So what I discovered a few weeks ago is that somebody has set up a fraudulent account pretending to be me over on Udemy, which is a learning site. And what they've basically done is pirated one of my videos that I share over on Skillshare. Um, and they've used my name, they've used my photos, of course it's my video material, but it's not me. Um, so it looks like that account has been running for quite some time, maybe two years or so, and it looks like they've been selling my video for between $11.99 and $29.99 um, for people to purchase, and sadly more than 1,300 people have purchased it thinking that they're supporting, you know, uh, some, somebody like me, um, a, a, a small business, um, you know, making videos, sharing stuff online, and actually they're not, they're, they're supporting um, a fraudster because that, that fund has gone into their back pocket. Just thought I'd show you the fraudulent account over on Udemy so you kind of know what to look out for. So you can see here this um, account is set up in my name, uh, Mal from Handmade by Ditsy Tulip. Um, it's my photos, it's my video and my wording. So this has been um, copied exactly as I've got it over on Skillshare. Um, however, they've just changed the name from Skillshare to say, I recently joined Udemy. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing that they've changed. You can see that um, they're currently charging £29.99 um, to take this class. And at the moment, it's got 1,355 students. Um, one thing I did notice when you click on the URL, if you can see there it says uh, udemy.com forward slash user Christine Tat. So um, I assume that um, whoever the fraudster is, that's the name they've used to set up the actual Udemy account. It's Christine Tat. Um, but then of course they've used um, the words that have taken from one of my classes over on Skillshare. It has proven to be quite difficult to um, look at getting it taken down. I have, of course, been in touch with Udemy, 
the problem I'm having is I need to fill in a form to apply to get it taken down but on the small print of the form um, it says that any information I share on there will get shared with the with the fraudster so it has asked me to share my, my personal name my personal address my personal telephone number my personal email and Udemy will pass that form on to the fraudster um, which in my view I'm not willing to do because that then gives them even more information to set up fraudulent accounts in my name so I am going to carry on fighting it um, I've had some really good ideas from my sewing uh, fellow sewing vloggers to use um, PO boxes and um, Google voice accounts rather than my personal details so I'm looking into doing that but what I thought I would crack on with is getting my name changed over here on YouTube and all my other social medias. So that's where Linen Bloom Heirloom comes into it. I do hope you like the new name. Do let me know in the comments. Um, and that's it. It was really just a quick video. I didn't want you to wonder what had happened and why all of a sudden I'm no longer called Handmade by Dixie Tulip. So I just wanted to bring you up to speed with that. And the next videos I'll share will be my usual creative ones. There's quite a few things I've been working on. So I'm going to be sharing that very soon. And I'm also going to film an overview of my new sewing machine. So I'll share that with you very soon as well. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye. All my dreams are humming. All my dreams.